In this video, I want to talk about actually computing limits. This is the majority of what you're actually going to be doing with limits. And your questions are going to be in the form of the limit as x approaches some number a of your function x. And you're going to be asked to find what l is. Um, and generally, I say the first thing that you should do is uh, plug that number in. So plug in a and uh, see what happens. So when you plug in A, there's only so many things that can happen. Uh, if I plug a number into this function, I could get a number over a number, which is a number, and then you would be done. That would be your answer. Or you could get zero over a number, which is zero, and then you'd be done. Uh, you could get a number over zero, which is some type of infinity. Or you might say that that does not exist, depending on how your teacher likes it. Or you could get this case that's probably most often zero over zero, which means you have to do algebra. Uh, and so this is the case where you have to like multiply by the conjugate or you have to factor or you have to get a common denominator. Um, these are just the main cases and we're going to cover each of those individually.